What is up console superstars and how are you all doing today? I'm hoping that you guys are having, if not going to have an extravagant day and night. Now I press play next appearance and look what pops up guys. We are down 5-2 to two, bottom of the 8th and we are coming to actually pinch hit in the bottom of the 8th against David Price. So this is definitely not looking good for us at all and we have the chance to actually be eliminated and uh, Boston has the chance of becoming the World Series champions so that just hurts saying it because Derek Jeter wants a ring his rookie year so he's gonna do everything he can to actually keep his chances alive the pitch comes from Price and he hits a foul ball to Seymour right down the middle we could have actually drove that probably in between the gap but considering the speed most of Boston's outfield has we probably wouldn't have done much with it and uh, Pedro Alvarez completely misses that ground ball right there I don't know if it'll be an error or not it's a base hit so we're happy because of that now we have an opportunity to actually steal the bag I'm going to use showtime and everything we need to get ourselves in scoring position right now and I think we have a great opportunity to do that especially against David Price who lifts up his leg he throws the ball and it's a line drive it's going to land fair and we're going to third base the throw comes in and we are gunned out what check it out please instant replay somewhere instant replay that there is no way we got gunned out guys there is no way Hanley Ramirez is playing right field if we got gunned look at that we were safe what we were safe and we just lost nine to eight to the Boston Red Sox so Derek Jeter his rookie year finishes off on a bad note as Boston wins the World Series and Arizona goes home. But don't you worry, guys. This will only make Derek Jeter more hungry and they will build a hatred for the Boston Red Sox. It's going to build it in his heart. So if you guys see him going to the Yankees in a couple of years and winning some rings in the Yankees, and kicking Boston's butt, you will know why. With this, we are going to continue to the offseason, and we are not ending the episode just yet. So stay tuned, guys. So guys, you can see the message right there. The season is over. I'm not crying. Derek Jeter doesn't cry. He's just very sad right now because the Diamondbacks have been defeated in the 2017 World Series by the by the Red Sox better luck next season oh man let's keep going on with this guys and let's see who has the awards who got the awards let's begin the offseason let's see retired players so Josh Hamilton is retiring Pedro Lopez Kyle Matthews Maurice Roark Justin Rodriguez, we're not going to go through everybody, just some noticeable names like J.J. Hardy, Chris Young, Miguel Montero, Zach Duke, Brandon Phillips actually, Ian Kinsler is retiring, another Chris Young, Ricky Nolasco, we have Hirashi Iwakuma, Francisco Reyes, Oliver Perez, Alex Rodriguez went to the Cubs guys, he was playing for the Cubs and he is retiring as well as John Lackey, Yadier Molina, Johnny Peralta, Howie Kendrick, and then everybody else was a free agent. Let's see who made it to the Hall of Fame. So A-Rod made it to the Hall of Fame with the Cubs, and Carlos Beltran also made it to the Hall of Fame. It looks like he was a free agent, although. And uh, let's see who got the awards at the end of the day, or maybe I can't see that right here. Let's simulate the offseason then, and let's see the offer they are offering us. So one year 950,000 I'm a little bit greedy and I'm gonna ask for a milli why because we deserve it okay maybe they don't want to give us a milli so we need to go to 985 and they're you know what we're gonna have a problem here we're gonna go all the way to 1 million 250 and see what they say okay never mind we're gonna drop to 1 million and see they're gonna give us 970,000 dollars that's better than 950 
And with that, we're going to simulate the offseason. And uh, it was not a disappointing season, guys. I must say, we made it as the wild card team, went as far as the World Series. And if you guys did not notice, that final game of the season, we played until the 17th inning. We fought long and hard to actually take the W away from Boston and give ourselves an opportunity to play at least one more game. And it just did not work out for us. And sometimes it's not going to work out for you in baseball. We are going to skip all of this. And basically what I want to do is check out if we got any new players on the roster in general. And see what is happening. So let's advance to the regular season. And let's look at our lineup really quickly here. Our lineup is, let's go here. It, we have AJ, David. So nobody knew really. Everybody is the same as last year. We have Edwin Encarnacion still. He is decreasing. And for our pitching, nobody knew really except for this new guy named Zach Davies. And let's see when we face Boston. We face Boston the... 1st and 2nd of May so put that in your calendar guys because we are going to put the beat down on Boston and we face them again July 24th and 25th so we are head hunting for the Boston Red Sox now and with all of this we are going to end today's episode I know it was a little bit short but it definitely was not what I was expecting and probably not what most of you were expecting. We got eliminated and now we are just looking to improve this season and go into the playoffs with ourselves guaranteed a series. Basically winning the division and then going to the World Series again. Hopefully we face Boston again. And if we do face Boston again, I'm going to make sure that we sweep them for zip because they owe it to us now with that we end today's episode and i hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay commentary and if you're a boston red sox fan i know you guys enjoyed seeing them win the world series so hit the thumbs up button if you're a d-backs or a Derek jeter fan just hit the thumbs up button anyways because at least we got that far and we're not sitting at home like the yankees watching the game from the television but as always guys it's if you haven't subscribed to the console superstars already, make sure you do by hitting that subscribe button. And as always, have a great day and night. Stay positive, keep grinding, keep smiling, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, console superstars.